Namaste and welcome everyone to our Yin class on Thursday is our last class of this cycle, but we keep going. We will start another cycle next Thursday. So welcome to our class. Grab your blocks, your cushions, bolsters, everything you have around you to support your body into the postures. And today's class, it's going to be perfect for after work. We'll do some upper body stretches and also lower body. So well-rounded practice that will feel really, really good after work. And we will start with some centering. So find your most comfortable pose, sitting cross-legged. You can have a cushion or a block. I'm sitting on a block here so that your spine is straight. Your knees are lower than the hips. Your posture is upright, but without tension. The shoulders are relaxed. The hands resting on your legs or on your lap, whatever feels best for your shoulders. And if that feels good, you can close your eyes. And start bringing your awareness inside. Noticing the, the inner weather, their inner landscape. How are you feeling? How is your body? Are there any aches and pains or some tension? Or is it feeling good? How is your breath? Is it shallow or deep? Where do you feel it most? How are your thoughts? Are they raising, raising from one thought to the next or are you fully present, fully calm? And there's no judgment, just it is what it is. Just observing. And how is your heart? In your awareness to your heart, heart space in the center of your chest. Is there something there? Just allow whatever is there to be there and to be seen. Just bathing everything that is there with your awareness, bathing in, in your attention, bringing your attention to anything that needs some attention. We're usually so busy so busy in our minds, we don't let ourselves just be, be as we are, fully present with whatever is there. 
Everything is welcome. No need to change anything. All is welcome. And all is good. And taking big inhalation through the nose. And you can exhale through the mouth. Another big inhale. Exhale. And you're ready. You can open your eyes. You can blink and come back to the space where you are, where you're practicing. And let's go and lie on the back. Moving softly, moving gently. We'll come into the banana asana. So we start by walking our feet to the right corner of the mat. You can cross your left ankle over the right for a deeper stretch on the left side. We lift the arms over the head and we walk them also to the right corner of the mat. You can grab your left wrist with your right hand if you wish. We'll stay here for a couple of minutes. Put the timer. If at some point you feel like a nerve is pinching in your in your shoulders or your your arms start falling asleep, you can lift your arms, change the angle by bringing a book or a block underneath, supporting your hands and your arms on something higher. In case you feel like something is pinching. You feel pins and needles. So we're making like a C shape or banana shape with our body and breathing into the left side of the body. Keep your awareness in your body. Keep checking in with yourself in every pose. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. We release the pose, we walk the feet back to the center. You can allow your arms to come alongside your body for a moment. We lie there for a short rebound. And when you're ready, we go to the other side. So let's walk our feet to the left corner of the mat. You can cross your right ankle over the left, extending the arms over the head. We walk them to the left upper corner of the mat. You can hold, grab your right wrist with your left hand, making the C shape or banana shape on the other side. And we'll stay for two minutes.
and same as before if you feel pins and needles in your arms you can elevate them with the support and keep breathing Take a deep breath in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And we slowly release, walking the feet back to the center, bringing the arms alongside the body and lying there for a short, very short Shavasana in between the poses. Breathing fully. And when you're ready, we come into next pose, which is a, the Brikshasana, the tree pose, but lying down. So we start with the right leg, right foot goes on the inside of the left leg. If you feel like your right knee is very high up, you can support with a cushion or you can let it on the floor if it reaches the floor. We'll stay here for a couple of minutes, allowing for the right hip to open, allowing for the, the knee, the right knee to fall down towards the floor. Keep the left leg extended. We keep breathing. And we notice if we are holding on to some tension, we allow the body to release a little bit more. How much can you release? How much? Can you let go? Soften the jaw. Keep breathing.
You can slowly extend the right leg, sliding it, moving slowly, taking a moment to notice the difference between both sides. When you're ready, we go to the other side. So we bend the left knee and bring the left foot to the inside of the right leg. If the left knee is high up, we support with something, otherwise we let it on the floor. And we stay for a couple of minutes. Noticing if this side feels a bit different than the other, maybe a bit more tension, I can feel more tension here. Maybe we need some support on this side, maybe not. Breathing, keep bringing your awareness back to your breath whenever you feel your mind is wandering around. Bring the attention back to the breath. It's a constant practice. You can do this anytime, anywhere. Slowly slide our left leg to extend it. We take a couple of moments in a short Shavasana in between the poses, short rebound. Notice how the body is already softening and releasing all the tension from the day. You can bend the knees and slowly roll over and we'll come to light on to the belly now. So now we go for a shoulder stretch. It's called the closed wing. So what we will do, we'll bring the, the forearms parallel to each other and we slide the hands to the sides. We are lying on, on the belly. So it doesn't matter which arm you put in front, as long as you do both, both sides and you remember which one was in front first. So forearms parallel to each other and we slide, we'll walk the hands to the sides. So the right hand is going to the left and the left hand is going to the right. And here you can support your head with a block cushion or stack of cushions feels good stay for a couple of minutes and you decide how deep you want to go you don't have to walk the hands very far where you start feeling the sensations you can stop and the the legs can be wide or closer the glutes are relaxed uh, and keep breathing. It's a really nice stretch to release upper body tension. 
If you spend a lot of time on the computer, this will help. Breathing. And you can take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Slowly release, walking the hands back to the center. So remember which arm was in front and we change. So the arm that was underneath, we put it on top and we change. And we slide the hands again to the sides. So right hand sliding to the left, left hand sliding to the right. You can support your head with a block or a cushion. And one side feels a bit more awkward than the other. Usually the first side that we do feels better. The second side feels a bit more awkward and that's okay. Adjust to this side if you want less intensity or more intensity, you can always adjust. As we're never exactly the same on both sides. Keep breathing and with every breath, Expanding the upper body, expanding the space between the shoulder blades. Let's see if you can soften a little bit more. See if you're still holding on tension. Let go a little bit more. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And we release, sliding the hands back to the center. We take a moment to relax, to lie on the belly. You can make a pillow with your hands or just let them rest and breathe. And as we are, we'll go for another shoulder stretch. So we're gonna open the right arm to the side. So right arm opening. To the side, we look over to the left and we roll our body towards the extended right arm. So we roll the body towards the right. Here you can have a, a cushion under your head. It's 
quite nice. So opening your right arm, looking over to the left, resting your hand on a pillow if you feel like, and rolling your body towards the extended arm, towards the right. The legs can be one on top of the other, or you can have your upper leg back, so behind the other leg that will bring more intensity. Your left arm, left hand can be in front of you, or you can bring it to hold the other hand that will make things more intense. So your choice, you don't have to go all the way. If it's painful, of course not. If you feel you're going too far, please back off. So always listen to your body. There's no need to to do something that doesn't feel right. It's not better. There's no pose that is better than the other. And keep breathing. Take our last inhalation in the pose. Exhaling fully. And very gently releasing, rolling the body back to the center, lying again on your belly, taking a moment to rest. You can make a pillow with your hands and bring the forehead on, on the hands and look over to the other side. And when you're ready, we go to the other side. So now we open the left arm to the left. We look over to the right and have a pillow under your head. And we roll the body towards the left arm. The legs can be one on top of the other or the upper leg can go behind. The right hand can be in front of you or you can bring it back to hold. The other hand, if that feels right, that feels okay. For me, this is too intense on this side, so I'm making it a little bit less on this side. You adjust according to your body.
and slowly roll over back on your belly, resting on the belly for a few moments. If you're ready, you can bring your hands underneath your shoulders. And we're going to sit on the heels and make a few shoulder rolls. So notice how are your shoulders feeling? Can you notice some more space, some more freedom? Rolling gently. And we change direction. And back to the center. We'll do another gentle shoulder opener and gentle back bend. So we come into all fours and we slide the hands forward for the anahata asana or puppy pose. You can bring your forehead on the floor or your chin. If you bring the chin, that would be a bit more intense for your neck. So your choice, your hips stay on top of the knees for this one. Stay another couple of minutes. If there's discomfort on, on your knees, you can pad the knees with a, with a blanket. And we keep breathing. Into your upper body, into the shoulder blades. Keep breathing. And as we inhale, and slowly slide back into all fours and back to sit on the heels for a moment, closing the eyes. Letting the body adjust. Letting the body integrate all the postures we just did for the upper body. We'll transition into the lower body now. So we'll come into a squat, squatting pose, the malasana. You can either come into it from where you are sitting, so from, from sitting down, just coming to the malasana. If this is not working, you can come to standing and then go 
into the squatting pose from standing. So two different possibilities to come into the squat. If there's pain on your knees, you can use your block or a stack of books to sit so you don't have so much pressure on, on your knees. If the heels are high up, you can support them with a roll blanket and we'll stay for a couple of minutes. You can bring your palms together. You can have as much distance as you need between the feet. The feet can point out. And once we settle in the pose, we just allow ourselves to be there with nothing to do and nowhere to go. Just be in the pose, be in the body. Let the body speak. We'll take the last full deep breath in the pose. Exhaling fully. And to come out, we will extend the legs to come into a forward fold. And you can have your knees bent or you can have the legs extended. You can have the hands on the floor or you can hold the opposite elbows, or you can have the hands on top of, of a block or on top of a thick book or stack of books. And let the head hang completely. You can have some distance between the feet. And if at some point you feel dizzy or you feel you want to sit down, please sit down. Another way is to, if you have a, like an empty wall, use the wall to support you. So just leaning with the bum on the, on the wall and allowing yourself to fall forward, but knowing that the wall is there to support you. And let go completely of your neck, of your upper body. Also noticing the stretch along the back of the legs. And slowly bend the knees, bring the knees 
on the floor and come back to sitting on the heels. Staying there, breathing deeply. If you feel a bit dizzy, just breathe. If you need to lie down, lie down. Just notice and observe the immediate effects of the forward fold. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and we'll come to our next pose. We'll come into a half shoelace. So we extend both legs in front of us. We start by bending the left leg on top of the right. So we bring the left leg on top of the right. If there's any discomfort on your right knee, behind the right knee, you can have your hands underneath to support it or a blanket, especially for people who are very bendy, hypermobile, there can be some discomfort there. So you can have some support. And then we allow the body to fold forward until it stops. And you can have your chin towards your chest to have the stretch also on the neck, if that feels good. If it doesn't feel good, you don't have to. You can support yourself with a cushion. We'll stay there for another couple of minutes. So in, in yin, we don't need to go all the way down. We don't need to go to the full capacity of, of our, our flexibility. What we want is to stay longer in the poses. It's more important to stay for longer time with less intensity than for a shorter time with more intensity. We will go deeper the longer we stay. And to stay longer, you need to have less intensity, otherwise the body will just shut down. It will be too much, too intense, unbearable. And the mind will start freaking out. We put reason. So less is more. Take a deep breath in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, and slowly rolling out of the pose. You can take away your props, you can slowly release the upper leg, extending both legs in front of you, taking a moment to simply be there and observe. And when you're ready, we go to the other side so now we bend the, the right leg on top of the left 
same as before if you have some discomfort on your left knee you can support it with your hands with the blanket and allow your body to release to fold over both legs without the support or with the support however feels better for you and we'll stay for another couple of minutes and notice how this side feels might be different or maybe not mm. try and be present and stay present with your body with the sensations notice them every little thing that is happening in the body Maybe you're feeling some tingling sensations. That's the, the flow of energy in your body, very subtle. The more we observe, the more we listen, the more the body will speak to us. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale. Slowly roll out of the pose. Going very slowly, you can take away your props if you had any very gently releasing your upper leg, extending both legs in front of you. You want to can make a little massage to your knees, bringing some love there and staying, sitting for a moment. And we come for a last forward fold. So we come into a caterpillar of your choice. You can have your, your legs together or a bit wider. You can have as much support as needed. I'm gonna take a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you can use a thick blanket, rolled blanket or a few blankets together or a stack of cushions. So it's really, really restorative nice and you feel supported so you let your body fold forward in the, to be supported by the, the prop beneath you and using as much height as needed and the more supported the, the body feels the more it will open up if the body feels it's safe it will gently surrender release but for that we need time and patience and acceptance accepting that the body has its own timing and that's okay. Keep breathing.
Can you let go a little bit more? Letting go of belly tension. Sometimes we just keep contracting the belly. We don't need to allow the, yeah, the jaw to soften your shoulders and neck to relax. There's nothing to hold on to. You are supported and you're safe. We take the last deep breath in, exhaling. And without any rush, slowly, slowly rolling out of the pose. You put your bolster or your pillows or blankets to the side. Then we come to lie on our backs. So moving very gently, and you can hug the knees to your chest, release if there's any lower back tension from the forward folds. You can make a massage on the lower back. Come into a happy baby holding your feet or your ankles or behind your knees. And you can keep rolling. And breathe. And we release the feet, bringing the feet on the floor. We open them as wide as the mat, bringing the knees towards each other. We open the arms to the sides and we will cross the arms in front of us to hug ourselves. So you can hold your shoulders, you can hold the shoulder blades. Stay there. Enjoying our nice warm hug. If there's something beautiful you want to say to yourself, you can say it. And we open the arms, remembering which arm was on top, opening and Again, we hug ourselves, now crossing the arms the other way around, either holding your shoulders or holding your shoulder blades. And again, enjoying your hug. And if you want to tell yourself something nice and beautiful, please do so. Inhaling, you can open your arms, release, and slowly slide your feet until you extend your legs on the floor 
then you can prepare for the final Shavasana, making yourself super comfortable. You can have the bolster under your knees, a cushion under your head, a blanket to keep you warm, nice warm socks. And lie on your back. Having your palms turned up, your legs are slightly apart, and relax your feet, relax your legs, relax your hips and your lower back, soften your belly. Soften your chest and your heart in your chest. Soften your arms, your shoulders and the neck. And relax all the facial muscles, the jaw. the tongue in your mouth, space between the eyebrows and the forehead. Allow your body to be heavy on the floor, fully supported by the earth with nothing to do and nowhere to go. Just relax and let the body absorb all the benefits of this practice. And slowly, slowly, you can bring your awareness back into your body, moving your feet, wiggling your fingers, moving your neck from side to side. Extending the arms over your head and stretching the whole body. And you can bend the knees and roll over to the side. And whenever you're ready, in your own time, you can find your way to seated We finish our practice with one arm together. We take a deep breath in through the nose.
Bring the palms together and we rub them. And we bring the palms on top of the eyes. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes, bring the palms together, and namaste. Namaste.